everyone welcome back to our channel yes my people we really do appreciate you thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel you guys are simply the best and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen yes my lovely people we're back again with more updates regarding the edo governorship election Governor Godwin Obaseki has stated that he can afford to walk away, that he's not desperate, that um, it's not a do or die affair regarding the his second term and being um, the governor of Edo State um, come September 19th. We'll get all of the details in a moment. But my people, before we do, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up, click on the like button, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Click on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again for your continuous support. Yes, we'll go straight into the news and get all of the details. I am not desperate for the job. I can afford to walk away, but I have to defend our millions. Obaseki. Governor Godwin Obaseki, the Edo State Governor, while talking about the preparations for the voting on September 19th, said that the All Progressive Congress APC has started violence. He sounded the alarm that the opposition party is desperate to return to power, which he lost to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, after his repression from the APC. Obaseki warned against rigging to oppose malfeasance during the election. The governor was accompanied by his media aide, Kruso Osaige. I am a successful governor who has worked in the last four years. I am not desperate for the job. I can afford to walk away, but I have to defend our millions, Obaseki said. He said that he has focused on the breeding of Edo State, stating that his effort has yielded dividends for the people. The governor also said that they were talking less and working more. As the style and pattern of old politics has expired, we are deviating from it. Obaseki said large-scale infrastructure development, regular payment of salaries, and increased internally generated yield revenue have not been compromised. The governor said that their infrastructure battle has opened up the state and attracted investors. He explained that he rejected the notion of ownership of privilege, Edo, by some oblivious to the plight of the public. In his view, some challants who have not worked in their lives were lying about their administrations. He said that the state is not only for politicians, but for those who are entitled to greater dividends of democracy. The governor drew attention to their educational programs, which he said have been praised for its impact on students and the school system. He said the programs have changed the basic education and enhanced teacher training, emphasizing that parents now transfer their children from private to public schools. He also said that he has constructed and renovated more health care centers, which cater for the health needs of the people. Obaseki, considering the disruption in the palace of the Oba of Benin, Eware II, said that they were due to opposition. Obaseki explained their enemies are trying to intimidate our supporters. They are planning a strategy to use federal intimidation to intimidate us. Obaseki said the opposition was preparing the ground for anarchy and anarchy, which will be retaliatory. In a do during the election, the federal government should abide to the law of the country, Obaseki explained. Obaseki further said that the difference between him and his key rival, the APC candidate, Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu, was that he had dedicated to building institutions, creating wealth, and creating an environment that is supportive of job creation. He said that the APC standard carrier cannot know the dynamics of, and the complexities of government and governors as he is not in the front seat. Obaseki also reacted to claims that he used fake academic credentials. He said there is a clarification from the University of Ibadan that issued the certificate for him. They were just pro promoting propaganda on social media. So guys, uh, yes, um, uh, Obaseki has been up and about uh, um, regarding the forthcoming governorship election. This is coming as a result of um, the, the PDP campaign flag off. We know PDP flag off their campaign activities on Saturday, the 25th of July. 
And from that day, uh, it looks like um, events have taken new turns um, following the events that took place in front of the Obas Palace. But, um, you know, with regards to that, Obasek is trying to clear the air that he's not really desperate, so he's reiterating again. We know he stated that he doesn't think his, his, his um, second bid is worth the lives of um, Edo Light. Right now, he has stated that he's not really desperate for the job, that he can afford to walk away. But what he's concerned about is about the development of the state. He's concerned about um, defending uh, millions of uh, 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 the millions that are allocated to the state and also I don't like as well that his priority is how to bring good governance um, to the table. It's not all about um, desperation. So he can actually afford to walk away. But looking at the things that are be ahead of him that he has to do, that's one of the, 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 the motive, one of the reason behind his push for this post. So he has ruled out desperation. You know, there's been counter allegations um, um, about the two parties that um, APC are planning violence. APC, on the other hand, they are saying PDP, they are planning violence and all of that. But Baseki has cleared the air now that it's not, it's very far from that. He's not planning anything related to violence. As a matter of fact, that he will not even, it will be better for him to walk away than to risk the life of Edo Light or to put them in danger or to see that um, they, they, they encounter any sort of uh, uh, pain as a result of um, his second term um, election bid. We know that um, just yesterday, yeah, Nehisam Wike dropped the bomb. It was actually a bombshell when he stated that APC doesn't have a candidate because to them, they feel like um, APC are not serious. You know, it's been said countless times that um, Oshomole should not be trusted. As a result of the fact, um, the way he has been going forth and backward, you know, trying to justify Ize Iyamu has even uh, exposed him the more and I think to some extent has caused more problems for the for APC itself. But guys, it's quite interesting. We'll just see how all of this turns out. We'll see how all of this plays out. It's getting more interesting. But the main thing here Obaseki is stating today is that um, he's not desperate for the job. He can afford to walk away, but what he's concerned about is how to defend millions. So, guys, um, let's hear what you think about all of this. Uh, what about Obaseki has stated? If you feel that he's desperate, let us know. If you feel he's not desperate as well. I know he has stated that he has contributed a lot to the education sector, that even um, a lot of parents and teachers have benefited from the scheme and everything he has started in Edo State. Let us know down below in the comment section. Thank you once again, my beautiful people. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.